Welcome to the project demonstration of PIC microcontroller based power factor correction for both leading and lagging loads uh, using uh, blink application monitoring. So in our project we are using PIC microcontroller to uh, calculate the phase uh, difference angle between the current waveform and voltage waveform that will be achieved by this uh, current transformer and potential transformer through this connecting uh, converter circuits a microcontroller from h0 a1 directly it will uh, capture the phase difference between the voltage and current waveforms as you know that whenever we are using only resistive loads then uh, the phase difference between the current wave, uh, current waveform and voltage waveform is near to zero not exactly zero near to zero then uh, that is going to be the cos uh, theta value the uh, phase difference is considering as a theta then uh, cos theta is a power factor value so we will get near to 1 either is a 0.98 or 0.94 like that it should be above 0 0.09 sorry 0 0.9 above or uh, the power factor value will get that which is near to the unity power factor and whenever we have added the inductive load in series with this resistive load then uh, the current waveform will be lax due to that the phase different will be occurred and from there the theta value will be increased then the cos uh, theta will be decreased from the 0 0.9 to 0 0.8 or 0 0.7 based on the inductive load and a combination of resistive load then our microcontroller will calculate that if it is less than 0 0.0 0 0.9 then uh, it will on the one relay first and if uh, the power factor value will be increased if the phase difference will be decreased then it will stay there till uh, the power factor uh, will check that again so when we isolate this uh, inductive load from the resistive load then only the previously the relay got switched on which will add the uh, capacitive load to this resistive load now the current away from will leads then uh, the phase difference will be increased to the positive angle then uh, the cost uh, the microcontroller will identify it as a leading power factor then it will be isolated uh, it will isolate the relay uh, by using this uh, relay to isolate the capacitive right same for the higher loads if by we are demonstrating this project using the two uh, kinds of loads one is the resistive load of 60 watts and there is a 100 watts so for the 100 watts the uh, current waveform will be lax heavily due to this inductive and uh, resistive load then uh, the two capacitors will be added and it will be compensated so uh, parallelly we are going to monitor the power factor values which is leading or lagging on the 16 by 2 lcd screen along with the blink application this can be accessed from anywhere in the world so let us see the demonstration before demonstration let me explain you the process first of all we need to on the hotspot in your phone so configure your hotspot settings uh, follow the exactly settings like project 6504 without any space without any sorry this yes, should be 6538 yeah right so project 6538 without any space without any capital letters and password should be 12345678 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz after enabling the hotspot and data log into the blink application from the given credentials as we can see that the device is offline so coming to this sketch this is a ct and pt which are connected to these driver circuits which will convert the ac to dc and pulses and uh, this is a regular power supply board to provide the 5 volts power supply to the microcontroller and this one is the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and L which was connected at the pin number B0 and B1 and LCD display at pin number B2 to B7 A0 A1 for this DIVA circuits C6 C7 for these two relays to add these two capacitors and this one is the inductor choke we are using and this is the resistive load so let's demonstration after enabling the hotspot and log into the blink application on the kit right so welcome message will be displayed on the lcd screen and then uh, the power factor value so initially yeah right okay and as we can see the or if i offline mock go away then we can see that right now is a 0.95 power factor value right so you can see the both here same power factor values so when we add the inductive load to the resistive load we can see the relay got switched on and that's a 0 0.862, 0 0.91 was added so we can see this same here right so it will fluctu though it is fluctuates it will be stabilized somewhere values right you can see that and when we isolate this right as only leading was happened and the relays got isolated 
and the next so by changing this bulb as we are using the 60 watts here and by adding this extra bulb that's 100 watts bulb So you can get the same values on the blink application and uh, this is now 0.92 lagging so just we are uh, added the inductive load to that now so now again two relays added here and now it is lagging so when we are isolating this wait for that again right two relays added and when we are isolating this that load is goes to the leading and now we will get the uh, Release gets switched off, and nowadays 0.92 lagging to stabilize over there. Right, thank you.